This is Twit. Tidal, which is uh, not a high-res audio service, but a new moonshot that's targeting ocean conservation. It's basically uh, geared You could at- argue that Jay-Z's title was a moonshot. Sorry. True. Rimshot. Rimshot. Sorry. Ow. <laughs> okay. It's monitoring fish, fish behavior in this case uh, with cameras and, of course, it's Google. So machine perception tools, AI. Uh-oh. Fish Check out that facial video. recognition. I see it. Yes. Oh, no. We're tracking, we're tracking all the fish in the sea. I think this is cool. This is where, cool. like, cool. technology can actually improve our lives. And, my gosh, it's a good use case. And there is actually a debate. I think Rose Eveleth had an article in Wired about should we film animals without their consent? Um, oh, but no. we're not going to go there oh, right no. now with fish. No, you're kidding me. You it's are a, kidding it was, me. It was about apes and I think it was apes. Yes, that was an actual thing. Should we Should we film or use AI on animals without their consent? No, oh. no, not that. <laughs> not, not the the, the monkey <laughs> selfie shot from Here, well, three or four years ago or however long that was. Yeah, no, it's a copyright it's, dispute, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, the copyright thing is separate. Yeah. Um, uh, animals German need digital apes. privacy too. Wired, oh, January thirty first, twenty twenty. Oh come on! Why do you disagree, Mister Jarvis? Read it before why, you. Why start? do you disagree, Mister Jarvis? Well, in that case, let's let's really talk about animal rights. Let's not kill any of them. Let's mm-hmm. not hold them prisoner. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, Sager. what about animal rights? Don't, don't start with privacy. Come on. No, no. I'm feeling like a very old fart right now, but no. Okay, you should go read and, the article. And you disagree? Uh, no, I was just 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 jerking the chain. <laughs> okay, <laughs> he saw an opportunity. He's just going for it. I'll bet if we look through your photos, we found you violated the privacy of a few cats, dogs. My dogs—they're always getting photos. How you know, so. dare you? I mean, it, is there such a thing as as an animal providing consent for a, a photo? Yeah. Or, like, there is not. It's it's okay. basically I mean, other than humans. Yeah, that's it. The argument is more about our entitlement to animals and okay. access right. to them. Okay. And we, in the argument, it becomes when we see ourselves or when people see animals as something we should have access to twenty four seven. We put both ourselves and them at risk. And she says it doesn't extend it all the time to all the time, but it's 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 just a frame of thought. Like, and I think so, it's it's valid. It's not a, it's not as crazy as you might. You know, but on the other think. side Something of that, why ha, has there been any type of controversy for studying, say, whale migration and and any other so, animals that we have to figure out their patterns to to know what the that's, pattern that's, is yeah. for the rest of the wildlife circle and all of that. Um, she talks about that. She says we have to have, you know, because when you start doing that, you can make them more vulnerable to like being tracked by people who are maybe malicious, not just researchers, mm. uh, which is a problem. So you have to weigh the harms. I mean, it's like an IRB for for animal studies. Anyway, sorry, we were going to talk about title and <laughs> I, we just got so waylaid. <laughs> that, now I'm like, I don't know That's about title because I mean, fault. you saw that video. <laughs> It was, it's it was facial recognition, I'm telling you. Thousands upon thousands of fish. That's pretty All cool tracked. that it's tracking these things. None of them provided consent for this video. It's uh, tracking their their swimming patterns. It's tracking their, uh, uh, what are those called? Scale patterns. <laughs> I was like, mm-hmm. their, their facial features is not what I was going for. So you're tracking individual fish. You're also tracking like their behavior in ways. And the goal habits. is to make, yeah. Yeah. It, it's leaving them where they are and making sure they're happy. Right. Leave, and leaving them where they are being a really nice key key fact there, right? Like still being able to study them without removing them from the environment in which they live. Um, and in, in a pretty non-invasive way, as far as I can tell anyways. Uh, so yeah, It's yeah. not like they're shooting a tag into a fish right. ear like we do with, with our cattle or anything like that. Right, right. Exactly. I thought you were going to say with your cat. And I'm like, whoa. <laughs> Someone's going to pee in your slippers. Well, that tag goes into the back of the neck. <laughs> back of the neck. Well, too, well the, the little tracker. Oh, well, yeah. Um, it's not a tracker. The, it's the, just it. The tags or whatever that, that they yeah. inject into the skin. Like, I don't know what that's called. It makes it sound a lot worse than it actually is. But it allows you to it's find your lost pet yes. if they get lost. That's why it's there. Okay. Um, apparently they've been building this for the past three years. So, um, 
Yeah. And now part of Alphabet's uh, experimental kind of moonshot division is about making tools and, and interesting, creative, new uh, concepts and stuff, but it's also kind of about making money, right? Like we're starting mm-hmm. to see them kind of tighten tighten things down a little bit as far as moonshots that were launched, but at some point they're like, yeah, well, this isn't making any money, so we got to shut it down. So and that's good on them. Put that well, money towards something that- that's more useful. With Waymo, they just opened it up for outside investment, and I think we're going to see more of that. Correct? Mm-hmm. Yeah, probably so. So that seems to be Google's mo under. Uh, not Satya. Oh my I'd God. love to get an expert, or get a, a veteran Sundar? of Bell Labs Thank you. and see. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, Jeff. Didn't mean to no, no, I'm sorry. sorry. I, I didn't know that I... Stacey was embarrassing herself. I that go. <laughs> get Horribly, that too. Good Lord. <laughs> uh, I'd be curious to, to get a veteran of Bell Labs and compare the attitude toward pure research and odd... Um, Moonshots at, at both, because it was it was the vaunted, it was research in the corporation outside the university, and it you know started the transistor and all this great stuff, and Linux, um, Unix. Uh, I wonder, uh, Google seems to be a, l- a little more financially targeted now than Bell Labs was. Mm. Or I wonder, I wonder two things like the fish is okay. Here's a little bit of uh, pocket change. You can play with that for a while, but then unless something comes of it. Yeah, enough. Go 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 play with your fish. Well, I think that's what they've been. I mean, the fish are three years old. I think in two years we'll be able to assess what's changed since Porat mm-hmm. started really killing these things like a year ago. Mm. So, mm. I shouldn't just blame it on Ruth Porat. That's that's rude. 